ladies of el salón the chronicles oh yeah ladies of el salón the chronicles yeah, escucha yeah, ladies of the interview that you gave with soul life back in 2020 and you guys were talking about how do you take control of the situation um the toxicity and turn it around so suli was talking about how from a female perspective you are ostracized if you say something or you're the scarlet letter and you guys mentioned well as a man if you're in a group because you're a dominican male from the heights yes yeah yep absolutely mm -hmm. yeah you can hear me okay and yep. one of the things yeah, that absolutely. you guys talked about was that if you guys call out a guy for saying no you shouldn't do that or if the guy says oh esta mujer le gusta todo eso, and then i think you were the, the the host said well if it's okay if i do it to your mother um so how do you respond to that in terms of what Zuli said and then the bigger picture of what's happening with Cuomo and all that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough, right? Because, you know, I'd be lying to you if, if like every moment that a dude says something inappropriate in front of me, I would check him, right? Because I've been the dude that said inappropriate things in the past too. So I can't sit here and lie about it, you know? Um, but, I, but I think the main thing is, is as you grow older, right? I think specifically me like at the times i manage a group of women so i'm a male manager with five women on my team um so you know i really kind of had to not only i would say shift my thinking professionally but also shift my thinking externally right um and and kind of see like just how you know maybe some of my friends may talk about women in general and um you know kind of I, and i wouldn't necessarily say checking them because that's strong but i would be like you know that's you know it's problematic thinking at the end of the day right um and I think, you know, when the, with the Cuomo thing, it's really hard for me to say something just because I work there, right? Um, and there's like that conflict of like, you know, being a reporter or whatever and kind of, you know, talking about something that's in the news. Um, so I can't really say much to that. But generally speaking. But what I would say is that, but generally speaking, I mean, I think, you know, we, we always see it when it comes to men in positions of power, um, kind of taking advantage of that. I'm sure at some point or another, I was in a position of power and I may have acted a certain way towards someone that worked with me or someone that was, you know, close to me, whatever it may be, that may have been inappropriate, right? Um, and some, sometimes you, you, you forget about those things. You don't even think about it because no one mentioned it to you, but it's things that really happened and things that that person, similar to what Zuli was just saying, um, decides to just kind of like, you know, disregard or just kind of like swallow in a sense, right? So for me, um, I think it's really, I think it's twofold, right? I think we're in a generation now, not just necessarily, you know, because a lot of the times, you know, I think Me Too was really centered around a lot of white women, but it was a black woman that kind of started that movement to begin with, right? Um, and it was kind of co-opted in some respects. Co-opted, you know, for, I don't want to say in a, in a positive way, but obviously for a positive cause, right? Um, and I think now what you're seeing is in, in you know Latino communities, Black communities, whatever it may be, um, there's more women willing to speak up in a way that maybe their moms weren't 20 years ago or their grandmothers weren't 40 years ago. And I think it's going to take both parties, right? It's going to take not only women speaking out, but men being able to listen. And the hard part is men being able to listen. The same way we talk about race in this country, it's like, Black people and Latino people, Asian people can say whatever they want, whenever they want. But if white people ain't signing up for the program, when are we going to ever get anywhere? Ladies of El Salon, the Chronicles. Oh yeah, ladies of El Salon. The